Um, companies should improve their corporate social responsibility performance because they have a lot of power in the world today. And they're larger than, more powerful and have more financing than do a lot of countries in our world today. So if you're looking at problems like clean drinking water, waste, poverty, hunger, companies have a lot of ability to do things that government and the public sector cannot just because of the way they are resourced. What is in it for companies to be socially responsible is are lots of cost savings that they can recognize by reducing packaging, reducing waste, purchasing renewable energy, um, reducing water usage. That translates immediately into cost savings for the company. It allows them to, in today's market of talent recruitment, to attract and retain top talent of people who really want to spend their time and energy working, yes, for salary, but also making the world a better place. And I'd say the third biggest driver for companies to be socially responsible is to improve their reputation in the marketplace or in the world. You see that a lot with the multinational corporations who are trying to enter new markets. Think Walmart trying to enter Germany and Angela Merkel saying, no, you can't enter because we don't see you as being good for society. So that actually closes them out of a marketplace where they could grow. Um, and a lot of ways, it, it, it serves as a way for them to differentiate amongst their competitors to do something more than just providing good quality or jobs or services. I would say a, a very big trend now is on focusing around energy usage, renewable energy, um, waste reduction, things that happen in the company's own operations. But a big trend now because of the focus on some worker issues like suicides in the Foxconn factory in China, during Apple's launch of the iPad or the Bangladesh factory that collapsed, killing lots of people. It is really looking at where your products and goods are being made and what is the treatment of those workers and helping workers have a voice to demand better conditions. Um, I think it should start internally. A lot of companies try to move externally to their supply chain or to other parts of the world. My belief is that it has to start internally with how are you treating your own employees, how are your own operations and building and waste reduction and water usage and your own products being made. Uh, one of the best places to start is simply to, to put together a, an employee committee because the employees are on the front line. They can see areas where the company can improve environmental or social performance. So bringing together um, a committee of employees who can help develop the strategy, they will then own it and, and carry it out as opposed to the CEO forcing it from the top down. Yeah. So my research looks at women in leadership and what is the impact on the business. And what, what I have found is that when women are in top positions of leadership in a company or on the board, the company performs better in an environmental, social, and governance way. So they do a better job of reducing packaging, of purchasing higher amounts of renewable energy. Um, they do a better job of ensuring adequate health care access to workers throughout their supply chain. And you see fewer, um, fewer CEOs carted off in hand cuffs, less fraud, less corruption. When you have women in leadership, it just uh, suggests that women lead in a different way. Yes, they do contribute to the financial profit performance of the firm, but they also keep an eye more on things of protecting the world for future generations. I think inherently we are producing these future generations, so we really see things from just a bit broader of a perspective. Yeah. I'd say concerning women, Finnish companies should really promote diversity throughout their leadership ranks. And it is women, but it is also different nationalities and cultural perspectives. Um, but to really look at the ways in which they can promote women to, to top positions of leadership. And I view corporate responsibility as a hook to keep women engaged in moving up the ladder uh, in terms of corporate behavior. Look at their boards of directors, look at their executive suites. and. There's no excuse in today's world, I don't think, when you have 52% of the world's population are women, to not see that reflected in their own leadership. 
And then in terms of improving corporate social responsibility, you know, I, I would say first to look at what their competitors in the industry are doing. Look outside of Finland. You have a lot of good practices in countries like America, but also like Germany. Um, like uh, you have a lot more. Brazil is probably the leading developing world in the BRIC countries who are really, they sort of have the perfect um, forces. They have government regulations, they have consumer pressure, and they have some leading companies like Natura who are really focused on their social responsibility performance. So to do some benchmarking of what others are doing in the industry. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's it. Painless.